Welcome guys to another tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the measuring tape, the fashion designer's measuring tape. Now, the history of the measuring tape dates back to 1829. Prior to this time, taking body measurement was very difficult and designers then, they had to rely on using strings and several other other equipments for measuring the human body and then in 1829 james chesterman invented the measuring tape and ever since we have been using the measuring tape and i'm sure you agree with me that the measuring tape comes in handy now the measuring tape is one tool that you cannot do without as a fashion designer and to read the measuring tape is very easy and that's what we'll be doing in this tutorial so let's go straight into it so one of the importance of the tape is or significance of the tape is that it gives them precise answer like when you use it to measure any part of the body you are sure to get the correct answer okay and then it is very versatile you can use the measuring tape to draft any pattern for any design, whether you're making a skirt, a pant, a booboo -boo dress, a blouse, whatever you're making, you can use your measuring tape. In fact, you must use your measuring tape. Without the measuring tape, you cannot make any dress, if I can say that. Okay? And then it saves time, you know? Just imagine in the past, there was no measuring tape and then when you want to measure somebody you get um several strings tie it around their body like there might be confusion and you're gonna waste time definitely so let's give it to the measuring tape and let's give it to james chesterman that invented the measuring tape okay so how do we now read the measuring tape now if you look at the measuring tape you will see that there are two sides. This side is the inches part. And the inches part is from zero. The top of the measuring tape is usually zero. Take note. And then it goes all the way to 60. That's for this one. We have the tapes that runs from zero to 120. But this one I'm holding is just from zero to 60. Okay, that's for the inches part. And then the back here, or the other side, is in centimeter. And it runs from zero to 150. Okay? So these are the two sides of this measuring tape. Now, today we are going to be looking at the inches part, which is what I use most of the time. Okay? So I'm going to draw it on the board so that you can see is a drawing of the measuring tape this is how the inches part okay now this is how the inches part of the measuring tape looks in between that's starting from zero that's from this point here from the zero mark oh we have eight divisions eight divisions okay that's in this measuring tape we have it is divided into eight different parts okay so let's count one two zero one two three four five six seven and this is eight and then in mathematics in fraction we know that one out of the eight divisions will be written as one over eight the next will be two all over eight and so on so i'm going to label each of these lines for you to see so the first line here is one over eight then the second line is two over eight three over eight four over eight five over eight six over eight seven over eight eight over eight now this is what it is okay but you know we can still simplify Hmm? That's mathematics, meaning that we can still break down. But any number that has odd number and evil number cannot be divided further. 
but we can divide the ones that have even number and even number like this one this one and this one and this one we can still divide we can simplify further and i'm going to write it here one over eight one over four three over eight one over two five over eight and um seven over eight and this one becomes one okay so if i'm gonna read my measuring tape now so i'm gonna read my measuring tape this is how i read mine okay one over eight is one eight one quarter three over eight is three eight one over two is half five over eight i say five eight seven over eight i say seven eight and this is one that's the way i read my tape i don't know how you read yours okay so it's very easy this is fraction this is fraction okay but most times when we walk when we draft pattern we usually get our answers in decimals what i mean by decimals is 0 0.000 whatever this is decimal this is what most calculators will give except for those um higher scientific calculators advanced scientific calculators that will give you fractions okay so it's necessary that you understand the conversion from fraction fraction to decimal for each of these numbers so i'm going to write them on the board these are the conversions okay so anytime you punch your calculator and you see any of these the numbers after the decimal point you should be able to link it to any of these for instance let's say this is five and this is six and then i measure i measure somebody and um, let's say i divided my calculator i multiplied and i got this answer five um five point six two six seven five on the calculator this is what my calculator gave me so how do i locate that on the tape okay when drafting pattern so you just come to five now if you know that 5.675 is 5 5 over 8 or 558 5, you will be able to locate it easily on the measuring tape and how do you get it one two three four five so this is five five over eight so anytime you want to read the measuring tape just count one two three this is five three over eight which is five point three seven five so i will recommend that you learn the decimal part and the fraction part as this will help you when drafting pattern and when using your calculator okay now another thing that i want us to note is sometimes when we calculate the answer does not fall within 0 0.125 to 0 0.875 and that's because there is another division which is the 16th division okay the 16th division um as fashion designers we majorly or usually stop at the eighth division but architects engineers civil engineers they go further towards the 16 32 64 division because they need to be very very precise in their work okay so they use from 16 and above okay so sometimes when you calculate you notice that your answer does not fall within this range your answer is not around here and then you'll be confused and most times you might want to approximate or just mark anything that comes to your mind well i will recommend or i will suggest that you also go into the 16th division okay how do we um go about that in between each of these lines there are measuring tapes that that um 
has 16 divisions okay but the eighth division is very common for fashion designers so in such a tape you will see this in between smaller divisions smaller divisions in between okay so if you can get this tape good but if you cannot get this tape don't don't fret don't worry about that or don't get worried okay just take note that in between each of these um eight divisions there are smaller divisions okay and then we have we have um 116 1 over 16 i'm just going to simplify it okay 1 over 16 this is 1 over 8 and this is 3 over 16 if you notice it's more of odd numbers and even numbers odd number at the top even number at the bottom because the ones that have even numbers at the top and bottom have been simplified further so i'm just going to mark it 116 216 which is 18 3 16 4 16 5 16 6 16 7 16 8 16 when you divide 8 over 16 further this is 1 and this is 2 you get 1 over 2 so we have um 8 16 9 16 10 16 11 16 12 16 13 16 14 16 15 16 and then 16 16 when you cancel you have one okay so i just want you to just note that in between each of these divisions there are smaller divisions that your calculator will give you if you're not working with your calculator you're working with just the measuring tape fine you can just be around the eight divisions okay but if you are working with calculator you are likely to come across the 16th division so when you get to that point please do not worry just know that your calculator is giving you the answer in 16th divisions so guys thank you so much for watching thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or comments please drop them in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys. Bye.